All right, development wizards. Here we are with the platform developer one certification maintenance for summer 19, the hands-on challenge. This one is really cool using a new feature of platform events to understand when certain things happen on your batch records. You can run custom handling logic to retry failed records, and it just all around gives you better control of your batch classes. So how do we get this done? Your batch class will have to implement database.raise platform events. It also has to be of API version 44 or higher. Then you can run a trigger on batch apex error events to do any type of error handling or create logs whenever one of those errors happen. All right, let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is install this managed package here. If you all haven't seen my previous video about getting access to your Trailhead user, go ahead and check that one out. I'm gonna log in here really quick. What needs to happen is we're gonna modify an existing batch class so that we can use the batch apex error events. Then we're going to create a trigger on batch apex error events so we can log all of this into a custom object and making sure to follow best practices when doing our inserts. All right, let's just double check that that install has finished, perfect. I'm authenticated on that same trailhead org, so I need to pull down all of those new changes. Since I'm connected via the manifest, I'm gonna come over and right-click package.xml, retrieve source in manifest from org. That should pull down all the new changes. We can see that a bunch of classes got updated. Perfect. Let's bring up our batch lead converted. Let's add the implementation for database dot raises platform events. Save that. Control shift P. Let's get this deployed. Perfect. That went through. Next up, we need to create a trigger on the new platform events. Control shift P create apex trigger. This is going to be called batch apex error trigger. Let's go through all the defaults there. The S object is going to be our new batch apex error event. Let's start commenting out our code. Pretty simple. We need to loop over the error events, insert batch error records. We need a list to hold all of our batch error records equals new batch lead convert errors. That's creating a list to actually insert our new records. Next, let's loop over all of the errors that we got, mapping all the values, and then adding that to our error list. Close that out. Our log object should have a field called async. Apex job ID, and that is going to be equal error async apex job ID. Same thing with the rest of the fields. This one is job scope stack trace c and we have error stack trace finally we need to add that record to our insert list then let's do the insert at the end here control shift p deploy to our scratch org Oh, really quickly, it looks like we can only do after inserts. All right, it looks like that took. 
let's go ahead and check our challenge you can find hmm it looks like some previous code is affecting this test run and validation looks like we found the culprit lead trigger I'm gonna comment that old code out. Let's try to run this really quickly. All right. Like I was saying before I got interrupted by that error, if this video is helpful, make sure to hit that like button. Go ahead and share this out to other development wizards. Follow me on Twitter. I'm not on there often, but I'll use it if you message me. And remember, I believe in you.